Hi, I was recently asked how you can make a text block within a Visio shape move using the control handle. And so I thought I'd show you how easy it is. First of all, I'm just going to add a shape to this page. And if I just typed in some text in there, whatever it is, and you can see that uh, the text is part of that text of that shape. And most of you know, I think, that there is a text block tool where you can grab that and you can go and resize it. Right. Now, which is a little bit awkward at times, wouldn't it be better to have a control handle? Now, a control handle or control point in a Visio shape is something you can't add using the normal UI. You have to go into the shape sheet. So to go into the shape sheet, uh, I've got it here on my right mouse click. Uh, I've got show shape sheet because I've got developer mode on. You can see that because I've got the developer tab and on there it's got the show sheet button which does the same thing. If you haven't got it on then just go to customize the ribbon and just tick the developer tab there to make sure it's in view. Now that I've got that uh, shape there and I've got the shape sheet capability I just do a right mouse click and do show shape sheet and uh, just to make this a bit easier to see I'm just going to do arrange all. Now that I've done uh, arrange all there you can see the shape sheet for that there. So all I'm going to do now is insert with a right mouse click I've gone into a grey area and just hit insert section and I want in there a control or controls there as you can see and I'm also going to switch on the text transform. Now the text transform section in the shape sheet is automatically inserted if you did something like I did on that first shape and manipulated the text block separate to the shape. But it is there for every shape in Visio, uh, whether you use it or not. So if we now scroll down, in fact, I'm going to uh, just move or collapse some of these so we can see the text transform section down here uh, has appeared and you can see that the text block itself has got a pin X and a pin Y called text pin X and text pin Y. And the control handle, which by default you can see is in the bottom left hand corner, just change the pointer, it's in the bottom left hand corner by default, which is width times zero and height times zero. So normally uh, you might put those, well, we want that to be the center, I think, of our, of our text. And all we need to do is just to go into here and type in set at ref. And then I, I've just done the set at ref and then open the bracket. And then I can just go and touch on the text pin X and it fills that form in for me and close it with a yeah, closing uh, bracket. Now I can go into edit formula like that and just show you that is the formula that's in there. So that means basically that wherever the control handle uh, X position is, the text block is going to be. And you see it's actually read that width times 0 0.5. Now I just do the same for Y there. And I'm going to type into that, set at ref, open it up and go and touch on that text pin Y and close it. And again, I'm going to the formula. I'm holding down the control key, by the way, and using my mouse to zoom in so you can see what's going on. So now that we've got that in there and I hit return, you see the yellow control handle, which I could give it a, uh, a piece of tooltip if I wanted to, let's say position text, something like that, so that when the user moves a mouse over the top of it, it will say position text. So when you type something in there, and I now get hold of that control handle, it moves the text block. And moreover, I can still use that text block tool there to resize it if I want to. And when I let go and choose that, you see that it's still in the center. So I can still move that even though I've given the ability of resizing that text block. Now the dynamic connector has got a nice little thing in there that it doesn't show that control handle unless there is some text in there. And that's quite easy to do as well. So back in here, for example, we've got the X behavior and Y behavior. If I just click into there, you'll see there's a whole load of things. And one uh, option in there is it's 
the default is z0, which is proportional, and 5 is proportional hidden. So if I was to change that to 5, then there is no control handle being shown. So what I, all I need to do, basically, is put an if statement in there. If, and I just do uh, len on uh, shape text, uh, the text, right? Uh, so I'm now asking what is the length of that shape text. If it equals to zero, then I'm going to be five. Otherwise, it's going to be zero. Just uh, extend that so we can see what's going on. So if the uh, length of the shape text is equal to zero, then I return the value of five. Otherwise, return the value of zero, which is the default. Close that if statement off now. So if there's text in there, we get the ability of moving the control handle. If I delete the text out of there, the control handle disappears. I put some text in there, the control handle is now appeared when I touch the shape. So that's the easy way of making yourself a little text block that is movable with a control handle in a Visio shape. Thank you.